fellow activist and um, an advisor. So. Um, but yeah, I, I came tonight to talk about the new SDS. Um, and so I just wanted to briefly talk about how I got involved and you know, my introduction into um, this organization. Before I, I came to Brown, I was actually a student activist. I made a, an activist coalition in my high school back in Jersey. Um, and we organized against the military recruiters in my high school. And so I had like a you know background in student activism, but I didn't really know how to connect with people. You know, it was just me and a group of friends that were really pissed off. There were military recruiters in our cafeteria. I come from a working class, um, mostly Latino, African American um, community in Hackensack, New Jersey. And so um, that was one of our biggest uh, weaknesses. And so we couldn't really network with people. And so when I came to Brown, I was really excited. Um, I joined Student Labor Alliance and other activist uh, organizations um, at Brown. Um, SDS didn't exist at the time, so um, I obviously wasn't a part of it. So uh, I took Paul's class uh, my freshman year in the spring, uh, the 60s without apology. Um, and I was familiar with 60s history. Uh, I read a uh, people's history in the United States when I was in high school, and I, I knew a little bit about SDS, but Kind of, quite honestly, and I, we've had conversations with Paul and I about. I was a little skeptical um, because I wasn't really sure. You know, I, I didn't really want to throw myself into sort of like a sexy, you know, 60s romantic sort of nostalgic. I, I'm sure everyone knows what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, <laughs> and um, so I, I wanted to really think about this stuff. So when Paul. Uh, told me that the SDS is being uh, relaunched. Tom Good was uh, the founder of that, and a few other folks, uh, Pat Corte, and um, a few other folks, too. I was a little hesitant. Uh, I can't remember coming to Paul's office. Paul's like, oh, did you hear? Do you want to do it, too? And I was like, uh, yeah, but I'm still kind of a little torn. But then he, he told me how uh, the um, uh, the Northeast Convention was going to be held at Brown. And obviously, as an activist, I was really uh, excited to be part of that and to get that off the, you know, off the ground and um, to see who would come and what would it be like and what like, you know, the aura and the environment would be like. And so um, a, a fellow students, activist, uh, and myself uh, organized a conference along with Paul, mostly anti-war activists on campus. And it was really quite successful. It was probably one of the first times that I actually felt really connected to um, students and young people my age in terms of, uh, you know, not really, well, I mean, there's definitely, I'm sure the people that came there, uh, some people that came there, you know, wanted to see Bernadine Dorn and et cetera, et cetera, sort of just like there for the event. But there's other people that I were really quite interested in, in, in networking and, and you know, nitty gritty, like, how do we do this? You know, we inherited this history, this baggage, some people might say. Um, and how do we, you know, create this into something positive, into something constructive, into something, um, you know, new? And I was really quite impressed by the level of commitment and uh, energy, and uh, personally, anti authoritarian uh, presence in the organization as it was there then and now. Um, and so um, at Brown, we created SDS. Um, uh, right now, I'm just going to talk briefly about what we're doing right now. We have a Brown University Student Union, which we initiated, which is really, if, if it goes off the ground, it will be the first, I want to say first, um, private university student union in the States currently, which is quite she was really awesome that happens, and uh, we just passed a resolution to open deliberation processes for our university's financial um, <coughs> financial student activities board, um, and also we formed the student 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 social justice network, which coordinates activities um, among activists on campus because we saw that you know these a lot of activists weren't really coordinating with each other. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about, and so. We, we've done a lot of concrete um, things around student um, student power, student syndicalism, um, and also really trying to uh, put into action participatory democracy. And that's what we, where we see our um, student union of Brown University project going towards. 
Um, also, we've been involved with the Iraq Moratorium and linking up with different uh, chapters in Rhode Island, also um, participating with Boston and a few of us who are in the area with New York City. Um, there's some New York City SDSers here, which is really exciting. Um, and also, just wanted to mention how um, what's really quite fascinating about this new SDS isn't just um, that it, it's been successful in, I guess, attracting young people, not just because of its name, although that's been really helpful, but also because I think people our age are quite tired of business as usual um, and quite tired of There's this whole new phenomenon. I know that I, in my chapter, we have a fair amount of um, working class kids that come to Brown. Um, I know that some people have this, this notion that people who go to Ivy League schools aren't, you know, mostly rich, but we have a fair amount of working class kids in our school, and there's this, you know, notion that, like, you have to go to college, you know, you have to get your bachelor's, you have to go to, like, get your MBA or get your professional degree, you know, that's fine, right? Um, but, you know, there's this notion that, or, there's this this real feeling that we actually really we don't really just want to do that. We want to you know make something beyond that. We want to really construct the world and change the world in real um, you know positive ways and real radical ways. And so SDS has been a really um, the new SDS has been a great um, vehicle for that kind of change, at least on campus and also throughout the states in different chapters. And that's what's really quite fascinating about the new SDS is that it's. It's really quite diverse. I know Paul and I have talked about this. Um, it's not just on elite university campuses like Brown, but also community colleges, um, state universities, high schools, um, and other types of colleges and schools um, throughout the states. Uh, also, what's quite um, especially very important to me is that the SDSers are really taking seriously race, gender, and sexuality in terms of, you know, their organizing and in terms of how political organizations should be run. So, um, and I know when I went to the, the National Convention, caucuses, um, race, uh, you know, people of color, gender and sexuality caucuses, working class caucuses were essential to the decision making processes. And um, so, I'm really, uh, I'm not really entirely, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not here talk about mostly like comic history. I'm not familiar with sort of comics, but um, I, I just came to say that I think the new SDS is really, you know, I'm really hopeful that um, young people my age and, you know, the new generation or whatever have you is going to do some amazing things. And I think SDS is going to be, the new SDS is going to be part of uh, 